This is Business School Instituto de Empresas Wow Room, or Window on the World. It's a virtual lecture theatre used to deliver parts of their MBA programmes online. The Wow Room is the next step in the technology immersion here at IE. The Madrid-based school is trying to bring the intensity and experience of a live lecture theatre into an online environment. The software can recognise the expressions on students' faces and measures levels of engagement and participation and it can tell if they're nodding off. IE isn't alone in using technology to create a richer online teaching experience. London's Imperial College Business School launched its global MBA two years ago, and the programme is taught almost entirely online. In this particular diagram, we're going to look at the quantity of goods on this axis and the price of goods on this axis. Students meet face-to-face -face on campus for one week at the beginning of the course to create a team mentality and then again for two weeks at the start of the second year. Uh, we've taken all of our courses from the ground up and built them specifically for online learning. In this online module, the theory of group pricing is studied by asking all the students to report on the price of a Big Mac in their city or country. This programme is for students that have got very busy lives. They don't know where they're going to be from one week to the next. You can study anywhere at any time that suits you. Tom Robinson, President and CEO of AACSB International, an accrediting organisation for business schools, says Imperial and IE are at the vanguard of this type of delivery, along with the online MBAs at the Robert H. Smith School of Business at the University of Maryland and at University of North Carolina Keenan Flagler Business School. The trend has gathered pace over the past two years, but it isn't just the business schools who are turning to technology to enhance the learning experience. FutureLearn is a privately run UK-based online platform owned by the Open University. It offers MOOCs or massive open online learning courses and uses web tools found on popular social media platforms. Students get notifications, can create personal profiles and can follow other students who they wish to learn from. These are generally short courses and it's the volume and type of people who do the course that enhances the learning experience. They are comprised of thousands of learners who are professionals, people who are researchers in academia or just lay people who come together around a structured experience to learn from each other. And the fundamental premise of the course is that people learn through discussion and, and, and dialogue with other people who are expert or have their own perspectives. During the Ebola crisis in 2015, FutureLearn hosted a course by the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine on the science behind Ebola. And so when the outbreak happened, I remember I was telling my staff and they said that they didn't believe that there was a thing called Ebola and let alone that it... On the Ebola course, there were 18,000 people who signed up to the very first run of that course. Many more signed up afterwards. 11,000 started the course together. These learners came from NGOs such as the World Food Programme, from UNICEF, from Save the Children and many from humanitarian centres set up on the scene in Sierra Leone and other places. What made it so effective and powerful was that they could all compare what was going on in their own localities, how it was being interpreted, presented on the news, how the, how the symptoms were being presented, how to avoid it. All of those things came together and that global community were able to distill better practice and, and dispel some of the myths that were prevalent even at the time. While the education sector hasn't been digitally disrupted in the way that other industries have, the current trends suggest a future of increasingly technologically and sophisticated online programmes.